Hey guys, Jason's here. Today, let's figure out how to integrate S-Series PBX in TAFXO Gateway. TAFXO Gateway can expand FXO ports for PBX to connect more PSTN lines, making and receive calls through these PSTN channels. We can integrate gateways and PBX via the local network, the internet, and VPN. The logic to integrate Asterisk PBX and a Yaystar gateway is SIP trunking, which literally speaking is making sure both devices are accessible to each other and creating one trunk on each facility. Then, what we're going to do is just configuring inbound and outbound rows for call making. Alright, let's start the configuration. Take an example, S300 and TA410 have been deployed in the same LAN. Both devices have private IP and are accessible to each other. Since two facilities are in the same LAN, we can create a trunks directly. To make two facilities reachable, on the PBX, add a peer trunk. Well, to create a SIP trunk on the TA gateway, go to the gateway. We can just choose the service provider mode. Now we enter the private IP of the PBX and check the connection status here. Now, both trunks have been connected successfully. We can start routing calls between each other. Say, we are allow all the extensions of the PBX to come out via the PSTN lines connected to the TA gateway. On PBX, Create an outbound road for the trunk we've created. Next, turn to the gateway to route the incoming calls out through the certain PSTN line. Since there are more than one analog trunk connected to the gateway, if we want to balance calls among all the trunks, we can put all these trunks into one group and wrote incoming calls out through the trunk in this group. Create a port group. Choose all the trunks or some trunks as you like. Select a list to use the strategy so that the system will always first choose the trunk which has been used for the fewest times. Therefore, we can balance calls among all trunks. Then, configure one IP to port Roads to send calls out. Enable the simple mode, and we can allow our incoming calls from PBX to be sent out through the amount trunks. If you want to limit the incoming calls from PBX or design a more complex road, you can disable the simple mode and do the advanced settings. Usually, the simple mode is quite enough for your daily communication. We simply choose yes to allow our calls. Set the call source to the board trunk we've created and choose the port group including all PST lines. That's all. Now, all incoming calls from PBX to the gateway will be sent out through the PST lines. Next, we're gonna route incoming calls from PST lines to certain destination of the PBX. First, add a port to IP route on the gateway. Choose one trunk or port group as call resource and set the destination of the incoming calls to the PBX hotline. As we know, PST line doesn't have DID numbers, so in one way we can simply leave the hotline empty and create an inbound road on the PBX. Or in the other way, we can find a number with the trunk and enter the same number in the DID pattern of the PBX1 inbound road to direct the incoming calls from trunks to the PBX. We simply leave it empty. On the PBX, create an inbound road, set the destination to an IVR, instructing the original caller to dial an extension number to get connected. Alright guys, now we have S-Series PBX and TAFXO gateway well integrated. Hope this video is helpful for you. 
Please leave us your comment if you're interested in other types of gateway integration. And don't forget to subscribe if you're not already. I will catch you in the next one.